Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at some more of my customized G.I. Joes. And these uh, three are loosely based on the Adventures of G.I. Joe line from 1969. For those of you who don't know, uh, in 1969, um, Hasbro decided to uh, change up G.I. Joe to be less of a military hero and more of an adventurer. Um, so they they created uh, brand new sets uh, that were using elements from the original military line, but uh, making them more adventure themed. So it was an interesting time and it was sort of a transition from, you know, the military version of G.I. Joe to the adventure team, which would come a year later in 1970. So um, I, I created these customs um, loosely based on that premise. Um, and this first figure over here um, is the Aquanaut. Um, this was one of the basic figures. Uh, and for those of you who have uh, watched my channel previously, the basic figures came in in a sort of coffin box. And, and they had a red markings on the top, very much like the astronaut figure that you see here, which I previously reviewed on the channel. So, and they were just labeled Adventures of G.I. Joe. And so the Aquanaut uh, was basically came with a sweater and black pants and just minimal gear. Um, sort of, a, you know, more of an adventure version of the sailor. Um, so, and I, I created this custom using uh, bits and pieces from various sources. Most of it's timeless collection, but the, the sweater is actually, um, that came with one of the 21st century toys sets. Um, so... And I thought it worked out well because it had the correct uh, sort of turtleneck look for the Aquanaut. And then um, I wanted to create some sets that uh, would be um, sort of a, a what if scenario. Um, like what if the line had continued beyond just 1969 if they had done more and more and more sets. So I created this sort of deep sea rescue figure uh, using uh, bits and pieces from various sources. The, this uh, orange... Uh, a rain slicker uh, basically came from Cotswold Collectibles. They they offered that. And uh, the Yellow Life Vest, I believe that came with uh, one of the um, reproduction action sailors that was released in the Timeless Collection. And then the rest of this gear is mostly Timeless. This hat is uh, 40th anniversary. And then this life ring back here, uh, this one came with the Perilous Rescue set. So uh, I thought that appropriate to go with this particular set. So um, cool as, as sort of like a what if they had continued on with the Adventures of Line. And so that's a really cool one. And last but not least over here, we have my version of the Danger of the Depths set. Uh, and this uh, is, again, a mixture of gear from various sources. The, the scuba diving outfit, actually, I got from Cotswold Collectibles. The uh, scuba tanks uh, came with the Myers set. And also the swim fins also came with that set. And I believe the spear gun also came with that, that Myers exclusive adventure team set. And then the mask and tubes, those came from the scuba diver that came with the perilous rescue. So, uh, it's a, it's a mixture of uh, gear from various sources, but I think this turned out quite nice. Actually, some of these other items, uh, came with various timeless sets and sort of round out, uh, that set as looking more or less like the, the original Danger of the Depths, although I believe that version had uh, black swim fins instead of the yellow ones. But it's okay that mine's going to be a little bit different. And then I was able to find a, a, a shark to go with it, too. This hammerhead shark, I believe I picked up, it's sort of like a like a discount store. It was probably only a few bucks. Uh, I just remember it finding it in a bin full of various animals, but it works perfectly as, a, as an adversary for G.I. Joe. And you can see the date on this. This is 2002. So um, very cool. Uh, obviously not a Hasbro item at all, but it actually works quite well as, as an adversary for the Danger of the Depths set. That's pretty much all I have for you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see various other G.I. Joe customs I've made, uh, think about subscribing to the channel because I will be covering a lot more of the stuff in future videos. Until next time, I hope you're having a great day. And thanks for watching.